Hi, and welcome to Pro Tools 11, the new standard for audio production. With the ground-up rewrite of the new Avid audio engine, Pro Tools 11 now has a turbocharged engine with exponential power over its predecessors. Along with this new power, Pro Tools 11 also adds new metering capabilities. The first thing you will notice about the new meters is that they are 30% taller than the prior versions of Pro Tools. This gives the user more detail about the level of a particular channel. The channel faders in the mix window are 30% taller as well. As you can see on the screen in comparison with Pro Tools 10, the difference is quite dramatic. Another thing to notice is that the graphics resolution of Pro Tools 11 is much higher than that of Pro Tools 10. When designing the new meters, a decision was made to use high DPI or retina graphics for the meters. Once they were in place, it was obvious that the rest of Pro Tools needed these high resolution graphics. Looking at the screen, you can see a comparison of the high resolution graphics in Pro Tools 11 versus the graphics in Pro Tools 10. These graphics are very obvious on high resolution screens, such as Apple's MacBook Pro Retina screen, but would be just as welcome on standard resolution monitors. Now, let's dive into the different meter types and preferences. With the standard version of Pro Tools 11, you get four different meter types. Sample Peak, Pro Tools Classic, Venue Peak, and Venue RMS. With Pro Tools HD, however, you will have the option of 17 different meter types. In addition to the ones already listed, you will get Linear and Linear Extended, RMS, VU and Digital VU, several PPM meter types, including BBC, Nordic, EBU, and DIN for broadcast mixers, as well as PPM Digital that is taken from the Avid Euphonic System 5 console. There are also three K-Scale meters for music and post mixers, as well as mastering engineers. For more information on K-Scale metering, go to Bobcat's excellent website, www.digidoo.com. Meter types can be changed on the fly while the transport is running by right-clicking on a meter in the mix window and selecting a new meter type. You can see as we change to different meter types that the ballistics and breakpoints change. There are preferences to further customize the ballistics and breakpoints to match certain outboard gear or consoles that you might use. The meters are displayed in a narrow view by default, but have the option to be switched into a wide meter mode by command, option, control, clicking on the meter in OS X, or control, alt, windows, clicking on the meter for PC users. If you prefer, you can have the master faders in a session set to a separate meter type from the channel meters. This is very helpful in managing input levels versus output levels. Users can also add an output meter to the edit window toolbar and to the transport window. The meter type follows that of the master faders, but can be set to follow the first eight outputs in the Pro Tools I.O. setup or any physical output or bus. Also added for Pro Tools 11 is the ability to see volume and headroom at the same time on the mix page. Clip indication is changed as well, with a yellow clip indicator showing internal mixer levels over 0 dB, while a red clip indicates an output or converter is clipping. Along with the 17 different meter types in Pro Tools HD 11, HD software users also get options to show gain reduction. By right-clicking on the meter, you can select at the bottom of the menu Show Track Gain Reduction Meter. This puts a downward firing gain reduction meter to the right of the main meter. This gain reduction view is also available on the edit page. From there, you can choose what gain reduction meter types to display. It can be for compressors only, expander gates only, all gain reduction with priority to compression, all gain reduction with priority to expander gates, or all summed, seeing a sum total of all compression and expansion for that channel. This type of visual feedback has only been available on high-end consoles or surfaces in the past, such as the Icon line of control surfaces. This is a highly requested feature from the Pro Mixer needing to see the maximum information of their mix at a glance. In addition to viewing gain reduction at the channel meter, there is also a new option for HD software users to see gain reduction activity in the insert assignment view. This will allow you to see gain reduction activity on a plug-in by plug-in basis. For all versions of Pro Tools 11, you can have a send level displayed in the send assignments view. This is a cool feature to see at a glance your send output activity and to find just the send you're looking for. 
In the past, there was a way to have one send per group of five to be displayed in a mini fader view. With Pro Tools 11, you can now display any or all of the sends in this mini fader view. These views can also be stored with Windows configurations. These Windows configurations tied to locators make it very easy to change views as needed. One really useful view when dealing with big mixes is an all sends mini fader view or send matrix. You can also hide the main channel meters and faders to really zero in on the sends. Storing this view as a Windows configuration allows it to be recalled with ease. And then, with another configuration, you can return to your normal view just as easy. All of these can be saved as a session template so you can have them all set up at the beginning of each session. All of these metering options have been Uconized in Ucon 3 and are accessible via new soft key buttons on the Pro Tools 11 Artist Control and MC Pro app sets. They can also be accessed via the soft key section of D Command and D Control. The new metering capabilities of Pro Tools 11 really show off just how powerful the new Avid Audio Engine is. All of the different meter types and ballistics, gain reduction views, and new send meter options help to make Pro Tools 11 the new standard for audio production.